What's good, y'all? It's your boy Jump Shot Doctor, and today I'm showing y'all the first 100 badge build in NBA 2K22. 100 badge Dirk Nowitzki build. Shout out the GOAT. Y'all know it's my favorite player. I'm not gonna say this is the best center build in the game, but considering it has 100 badges and I didn't sacrifice anything, like I, there's no like missing stamina, it's like actually kind of ridiculous. So, y'all drop a like, drop a sub, and let's get the 5k subs, man. We should have been hit that. I know Dirk was a power forward, obviously, but. I put him at center just because I feel like 2K rewards the center position more than the power forward. Let's go center. Beat the tad, it's kind of sexy. So y'all never really see me make a short arm build, but like I said, Dirk build, gotta have that strap, so. Seven foot, seven foot wingspan, 226. Dirk was like 240, surprisingly, even though he looks like a twig. I gotta reset it, even though you are gonna skip anyway. All right, so the thing about this build, the thing about this build system actually that I've mastered that nobody else has figured out is that 2K It'll reward you for like hitting a certain threshold. Even if you take everything away from a different attribute or max out all, it doesn't matter. You like, let's say I have like a 70, a 79 layup and I take my dunk all the way down, I'll still lose badges. But no matter what I do, if I know that's a certain threshold, it won't change no matter what anything else is. Like if I go like 79 to 80 layup, that's always gonna be a threshold no matter what on most builds. Even if, because last year, it'd be like, you could just totally put something into one attribute and it wouldn't matter what you did because it would just one would overpower. And then, but this year, if you hit a certain threshold on each one, it would get, that's how you get the most. So all my boys out there that are sitting here, like I was the first two days on next gen, like frustrated as hell on this 22 build system, bro. It's, it's tough. I want you to decide on a build in this. Hopefully if it's off my channel, it's like, nah, but this build system is complex. So at least if you mess it up, it's, it's your fault. You know, it's not 2K's fault. But something's always too good, so I'm not gonna lie. All right, so the thing with this build, we get 70 driving dunk on the dot, perfect for park dunks. You get 80 layup. You get the jelly layup packages, seven foot, German jelly. Like, you know what's cracking, bro. I don't know if they have German peanut butter, German jelly, but I'm about to Google that right after this video. And we know Dirk is the best post fader of all time. Literally invented the one-legged post fade. You could say Kobe, MJ, or post fading better, but nobody post fades like Dirk, or... At least nobody's move besides Kareem Skyk was that unstoppable. That one leg kick out post fade at seven foot, you're not blocking that. It's literally impossible. Even from the back, no homo. You cannot block that, bro. So even though he was a post fade god, like I said, you still want to give him that gold. See, right, like I said, look, I'm telling you, when you hit those perfect thresholds, like 2K knows what you want, you get the badge and the gold deep hooks perfectly, bro. I'm telling you, you gotta, you can't just, I know it's kind of overwhelming when you have so much freedom with the attributes, but you have to just, like stare at the threat, you know what I mean? You gotta hit those certain thresholds. Let the badges, what badges you want and like badges hitting certain like tiers, let that be your like frame, you know? So you don't just feel like you're just going crazy trying to like make a build from scratch. We all saw the intro. Dirk used to bang on people, bro. No homo, he used to punch on people. So y'all probably didn't realize that, but I'm gonna give him a 90 cent dunk. That's gold post riser. He probably shouldn't have gold post riser, but see, like I said, another thing, I, that's why I like 22 build system. I just, I just said that. Right when I get that gold badge, I get 24 badges too. That's perfect, like perfect threshold. Look at this, I'm telling you, it's so well-rounded. And we get post control, so we get gold deep hooks, 90 close shot, gold post riser, jelly layup package, park dunks, and we get like a, what is that, it was 89. And look at that, like I said, all of them are literally perfect. 89 post control, this shit's insane, bro. Like right on the dot, get you 30. Like I'm telling you, this is, this isn't the best build, but the way I make it, this should help you just with other builds because it just shows you that how much it's almost like set up for you. It feels harder than last year until you realize this is how they do it. All right, you got to max out midian three. I know sometimes on builds you lower the midian stuff, but the midi is your post fade, so we're definitely not doing that with Dirk. It's the last thing I'm doing this build. And 50 free throw, to be honest, you guys, I want to give him something because I play wreck. I'm sure everybody will eventually, at least trying to grind badges, especially on a big. But dude, 50 free throw is like... You can definitely green one every time. I have, still haven't made two in rec, honestly, but it's tough. So I'm gonna, I don't know, let's, let's just keep it at 50 for now. I think I'll be all right. This build will still dominate. And I'm kind of weird. I maxed out the, the ball handle, but not the speed of the ball. Cause I think with Dirk, you need like, a, or you know what I mean? Like he's not fast or athletic at all. Maybe back in the day, but we're talking about just Dirk overall, kind of slow post score, kind of crafty. So he needs unpluckable and stuff like that. He needs unpluckable, maybe a little triple that juke. Maybe a little bronze space crater, kind of get kind of get nasty with it, but no speed with the ball. I know that sounds dumb, but we're gonna just be like a good passer. I know he wasn't a great passer, but for the sake of 2K, we gotta make him a little decent. When you're not crazy on the defense side, you gotta, and you can't, you know what I mean? He gets big man contacts, but it's like, you gotta hit at least two or three dimensions if you're not crazy on the defense side, it's a big. He's still, that's what's crazy though, is he's still probably gonna be 
like shooting in your face, getting standing contacts, doing weird shit on with the dribbles. But he's still gonna have good defense. I bet this, what is it, like an 81 rebound block? I bet this 81 rebound, I bet he snags. For being 100 badges, bro, like I said, I didn't leave anything out. Like there's nothing, I'm, I'm starting to realize you need interior defense this year, but the builds I've started to make have had no interior defense. Like I'm saying my seven foot center, no interior defense. I know that's a big L. Some people are saying that about the Giannis video, go check that out. But honestly, with no interior defense, you can, if you have enough strength and you have a decent block with the Terminator, you can make it work. But I've kind of been getting scored on the paint. So I'm starting to say you might, it might be necessary to have at least 50, 60, so. But like I said, this Dirk build, well-rounded as hell. Perimeter, steel, 93 block. Offensive and defensive rebound. This build's gonna be such a this build is so demon. Alright, 70 speed. That's gonna be solid, bro. Seven foot, 85. Dude, I'm telling you, this is gonna be nasty. And we still got, like I said, 77 strength. It's like I'm not missing anything. This build is insane. And just have you I know y'all don't know this because one other thing to look at is you gotta look at the freaking you gotta look at requirements, animation requirements, dunk requirements. You see this? So you need a, exactly a 75 vertical to get big man context and we get 90 cent dunk gold post riser. This is going to be ridiculous. And I'm not chalk. Like I said, I gave y'all everything and stamina. Look at this, dude. I'm insane. And y'all thought I was done. Y'all thought I was done, bro. Look at these badges. Oh my God, y'all. I'm still not even done. Hold on. That's what's funny. Y'all are skipping through. Y'all thought I was just sitting here maxing everything out. I'm looking at this now. Watch this, y'all. Hold on. You gotta hit every threshold perfectly. Look. See how you just in there? You, I could take this all the way down until I hit 21 or 22. Exactly. But look, I wanna get that silver interceptor. You gotta pay attention to this stuff like that. So 60 steel. So I was like bragging about having a 93 block, which is not gonna, I'm not gonna argue that a 93 block is hands down better than an 84, but. We did take the block and I was wondering why I didn't have more playmaking as I did in the screenshot, but look, 84 block. We still get that 21 defense badge, badges, whatever, but look, 20 playmaking badges. I mean, if you really want to, I'd say do what I just had before that, lower the playmaking. I'm going for the most badges possible, y'all. If you make this build, I would recommend going 93 block instead of what I'm about to do. But for the sake of this video actually not being clickbait and actually having 100 badges, you want to take this block to 84, look, Right on the dot, 84. And you want to max pass accuracy out, 89. And look, 100 badges, y'all, just like that. Count it if you want. 50, 70, plus 30, 100 badges. The best center build in the game, maybe, maybe top three. But it's 100 badges, no clickbait, and I have physicals. This is the most insane shit in the game. 100 badge dirt build. I mean, I do this every year, y'all. So y'all drop a like and a sub. Hold on. I'm still going to show the build name because it's actually rare and nasty. Oh, I didn't even mention 100 badge Dirk build with ankle breaking takeover and post take. Like what? Nobody's going to mention that, bro. I, I low key. I'm not going to lie. I just recorded this video for 20 minutes and I forgot about this myself. So this just caught me off guard. I might have to throw this in the title, y'all. Seven foot 100 badge post scoring demigod with ankle breaking shots. And we have a 70 ball handle. Dude, we're going to this is I changed my mind. This is the best center build in the game. Imagine combining the shot take mid-range boost with the post fade, like post hops. I cannot even imagine this build, y'all. Imagine negative impacts and post shot take, y'all. That would be some game breaking. I should do a video on that. So yeah, I'll drop a like. Wait, wait, I forgot. I, I did this two videos in a row. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting new to this PC shit. And I keep forgetting. I'm getting all... I record on new shit now, so hold on. And look, this build, this is the most W build I've ever made in 2K. Post, like I said, post take, ankle break and take, seven foot, 100 badges, facilitating three level score. I mean, that is so rare, bro. This build is a W all around. And we got compared to Nikolai Jokic, the MVP demon, the only second round pick MVP of all time. I'm telling you, this is, I'm, I'm changing my mind. Now, this might be the best center build in the game. Might be the best build in the game right now in NBA 2K22 next gen. So y'all drop a like, drop a sub. This is the best build in the game. By the way, I'm going to say this for a reason. I'm recording this on my birthday. I know I've been slacking, but yeah, love y'all.